Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to go through uh, how to install the Cisco ASDM, which is the Cisco Adaptive Security Manager. Uh, and we're going to put that on the Genos 3 ASA firewall. Um, so I'm going to go through the process and procedure. So what, what you need to do, you need to set up your ASA lab uh, like I got here on my Genos 3. So I've just got an ASA firewall and I've got a Windows XP machine running on virtual box here um, so the IP addresses are shown as, as, as that um, so you need to fire up your ASA make sure that's kicked off and, and your Windows XP um, you need to put some very basic configurations on the ASA before you can start using your your ASDM um, you have to use the CLI to put some uh, very basic config on the gigabit interface uh, of the ASA um, you need to do a couple of other things which is to enable the HTTP server um, and then the you need to enable which device is allowed to HTTP onto the ASA firewall. So this would be your PC. In my case, it's my VirtualBox XP machine. Um, another little command you need to do is the AAA authentication HTTP console local. Uh, and then finally, you need to set up a username and a password. Uh, so I've got a username of admin password of Cisco and you have to make sure the privilege level is 15 otherwise none of this process will work so this, the process for installing ASDM is very straightforward the first thing you need to do is to get hold of this file the the ASDM file um, and you can go down to Cisco website where you can collect you know download the ASDM files or you can look on the internet I'm sure you'll be able to find it um, just a little warning what I found was I, I tried to install the latest one which was a 7.5 but um, I had all sorts of problems with it and it wouldn't load and it wouldn't run and it turned out to be that the, um, the that version of uh, 7.5 does not work on the GNS3 and fi I found one that did work which was the 6.49103 um, so the, AS, the ASA firewall I'm running is, is this 8.2, 8.3 version um, so you need to make sure that 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 you're using the correct versions before you start using this so if, if you're using it on ASA firewall if you're using a normal ASA firewall then uh, the 7.5 will work fine but if you're using it on GNS3 then you might have some issues okay um, so the first thing you need to do is install a TFTP server on your PC uh, make sure you've got some kind of Java on on the PC uh, and then make sure you turn your Windows firewall off as well these are really important otherwise um, nothing will work and the process is straightforward you need to TFTP your ASDM file so this this file that we downloaded from Cisco or wherever you get it from you need to TFTP that file onto the ASA it's just like doing a um, an iOS upgrade on, on a on a ASA firewall or a router or a switch it's the same procedure but you TFTP the file onto the ASA then once you've got that uh, TFTP to cross you have to use a HTTPS from the PC onto the ASA uh, and then once you HTTP across to the ASA it brings up a little prompt and you download the ASDM onto your PC and then you simply run it so we'll go through that process step by step now okay so I've consoled into my Cisco ASA so if we just do conf t ask later interface gigabit zero and the IP address is 192.168.0.100 Name if outside and it, g it gives you the security level zero by default. Um, you can configure it if you like, it's just security level zero, but it's already it's already configured for you. So that's the interface configured. So we just come out of that and then you need to do the HTTP, so HTTP server enable uh, and then HTTP and then the IP address of your PC uh, 192.168.0.101 um, and then um, you need to put the, the host mask so which is 255.255.255.255 uh, and then spacebar um, outside Oops. So that that's basically telling the ASA that there's going to expect a HTTP connection from this IP address, and it's from the outside interface. So so that's that's set up pretty much. Um, so we need to do a couple of other commands, which is your triple A authentication 
HTTP and it's uh, and it's gobby in caps as well, so you can do uh, enter that so it doesn't like that. HTTP console local. Okay, and the last one is is to set up your username. So username admin password Cisco and then the privilege very important to put the privilege otherwise it will fail okay so that's your config done on the ASA so we're ready to go uh, if we just bring up the um, process here so I've got the config on there so we need to get the, the, the PC sorted out now this is my Windows XP PC running on VirtualBox um, I've got the file here the ASDM file uh, I've got my TFTP running and make sure it's got the right interface and it's make sure it's pointing to the right file as well so if, if I look at that um, there's my uh, uh, TFTP folder the programs TFTP folder uh, and then make sure that your ASDM file is on there so the TFTP file server is running we're ready to go so go back to the ASA and you simply do copy TFTP flash and the address of the remote host. Well, one thing I didn't check is could I is the connectivity. So let's just double check that. Start command. Ping one two one six eight up zero one zero zero. So good thing we checked there. So it's not working. Let's have a quick look. I've got the interface shut down. So I'll just do that. No shot. I'll ping my default gateway first. That's fine, and then the PC, and that's fine as well. So that's just that's all it was. My PC interface was shut down. So let's just do that again. There we go. That's working fine. Okay, so we're ready to do the f the copy TFTP flash. So it's copy TFTP flash. Address of the remote is 192.168.0.101. The source file name is ASDM. So if we just look at the PC again, ASDM-649-103. ASDM-649-103.1. Don't forget the bin. And the destination file will keep the default. And there we go. So it's off and running. So that takes about a minute or so. Um, so I'm going to just pause the video there for a second. Okay, so that took all of 50 seconds. I uh, no, don't know why I paused it there, but there you go. So just do a show flash. And you can see that it's loaded the ASDM file on there. So we're ready to go now. Let's go back to your PC. You can you can now turn off your TFTP server and turn that off. Uh, we can close that up as well. So if we start up your browser. Uh, go to homepage, and then we go HTTPS forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.100 which is the IP address of the ASA and there we go so we, we've got the web security message you need to make sure you click continue and this is the this the now it's accessing the ASA firewall you can either install the ASDM so onto your PC or you can run the ASDM but that that won't install it on on your PC so I, I want to install it so I'll click on that and this is where you're asking for your admin and your password that we set up so it's a admin Cisco just need to remember that and then so straight away it's accessing it this is so you run that loads it click run and the installation page comes up click next next install and off it goes and it's literally is finished in a few seconds so if we now look at the um, there we go so it's launched the ASDM already um, that's the wrong address, so we just change that. So it's 0 0.100 and it's admin Cisco. And uh, so these are Java, so make sure you have Java on your machine. So say yes to that. And there you go, it's loading the cache software. Software update complete. It's pretty quick, it's reasonably, and there we go. There's your front um, ASDM GUI. And then you can start, that, that's just give you the highlights of everything. Um, and then if you look at the configuration section, you can start configuring interfaces, routing. So um, you can configure all these protocols on the on the ASA firewall. But if you look at the interface, that's what we've already configured uh, from here. 
and then from here you can start configuring your firewall go into firewall you can duck your remote VPN so that's basically it so I hope I hope that you found that useful thank you very much for listening um, and see you in the next video thanks